Hello YouTube! It is Hannah from Swaggish here and I know, long time no see, we're now officially in Christmas, there's my tree. Um, and yeah, um, I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded or anything recently because it's been, it's been hectic. My mental health has taken an absolute battering um, and I have had so much work to do uh, in the last four weeks or so. I don't know why but it's suddenly like everything seemed to come at once which was odd because like the first half of this semester was fairly spread out but anyway I am going to talk today a little bit about sort of like my first semester because I'm officially finished my first semester at the University of Stirling doing my masters um also sorry if you can hear my fan heater um it's it's really cold in Scotland it's really cold um yeah so I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh before i do get into the video please remember to like down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment um also um somehow i've got over 300 subscribers uh thank you so much i i wanted to do it before christmas um so i've got loads of time so uh can i maybe do 350 by new year's eve I don't know, uh, probably not, but that is the next sort of goal. So yeah, thank you so much for everybody who has joined my channel, my little family, and apologies that uh, I haven't uploaded recently. So yeah, let's get right into my video. So, um, I was gonna say if you haven't, but if, if you don't know this already, if you're new, um, I am currently studying at the University of Stirling in Scotland. Um, I'm doing the Master in Letters in the Gothic Imagination. So it's Gothic literature, primarily literature. Um, and yeah, um, I've just literally today was my final sem like final seminar, my, my last class of the semester. So I have finished, I submitted my final assignment for this term yesterday and I'm done um and it's been a really roller coaster of a term um I've made some really good friends which is really really nice um because that's something that if you've seen any of my videos that I filmed um in the sort of run up the lead up to moving here and going back to uni um you'll know that I was really nervous about making friends that was one of the things that yeah I was the most nervous about but yeah I've made some really good friends luckily pretty much everybody on my course like is a sweetheart there's only there were 10 but unfortunately we've lost one of us um so there's only nine of us um in the class which is really nice because we all we've all got to know each other and I hosted a Christmas party last week at my accommodation and it was amazing it, it was so good um so yeah that's really nice um I've also uh, sort of on the non-academic side I've made friends because I've sort of got involved with Hussars which is the University of Stirling's like role-playing and gaming society um d and and like other role-playing games I've played like Call of Cthulhu which is amazing and I want to play more of that um I've also started like DMing so I started Dungeon DMing, like being the dungeon master um, for a couple of games. One with Hussars, one with my course mates. I sort of created a fairy tale based campaign for Hussars. Um, they've completed like the first run of, of scenario, the first scenario I should say of that. So I'm looking forward to maybe running it again after Christmas um, and then a gothic literature based campaign for my course mates including one of my tutors which was amazing um, yeah super good fun um, but let's talk a little bit about the academics so what I thought I'd show you um, rather than trying to get all my like books down because uh, you know obviously it's a literature based course we've done a lot of reading and I've done three modules this term um, I thought I'd show you my autumn folder so this is my folder with like all of my like seminar notes and reading and stuff so uh here we go so i just thought i'd quickly flick through this oh flick through this to show you like what i've been studying so i've done three uh three modules this time um gothic and gender gothic studies and monster theory and culture um gothic and gender is pretty much what i said on the tin uh gothic studies is like a sort of broad 
introduction and overview of gothic studies as a field because it's a sort of a field of literature and criticism that's still kind of evolving it's relatively new um so we sort of an introduction to some of the sort of like main seminal writers and works and sort of critical ideas and theories um, and then monster theory and culture is also kind of what it says on the tin looking at monsters and monster theory and different kinds of that so uh gothic and gender we did uh in the first week we looked at frankenstein and from a gender perspective so we talked a lot about um the sort of masculinity and the sort of toxic masculinity but also uh, maternity um and if if you're interested in any of these subjects i'm going to really briefly talk about them in this video but i am more than happy of doing sort of an in-depth one um i was doing my gothic literature series which i will do more videos of now i've got more time um, i'm not going home for about a week and a half so i've got a lot of time um but if you want me to talk on anything specifically more than happy to do that also more than happy to deliver any of my presentations or conference papers in a video um obviously a less academic way so yeah anyway yeah so gothic agenda we talked about frankenstein and then we moved on to a little known book called the blood of the vampire which is by an author called florence marriott it's a late victorian fin de circle um novel um published in the same year as Dracula, published in 1897, which is probably why it didn't do very well, but it's kind of come back around in sort of people knowing it. And we looked at that and it's interesting because she's a psychic vampire and a lot of it, um, there's a lot of discussion of um, like white femininity and racialization because the main character, Harriet Brandt, is mixed race character. Um, and she's a psychic vampire so uh, the blood of the title as in blood of the vampire is more like her blood she she's hereditary psychic vampire it's really good actually um very racist so only read it if you know are prepared for that kind of i've said it on my gothic literature things before but it's really important when we're reading 19th century or 18th century even a lot of 20th century fiction um, from the early 20th century that we remember um, that we're going to be looking at it from a much more sort of developed and moral standpoint like our morals and the things that we believe are completely different so yeah um i'm also going to show this i did a blog so we had to write a blog series so three sort of 1000 word connected sort of almost like informal essays in a blog format for that module and i did mine on the blood of the vampire so they're my notes um trying to make my notes look lovely um because you know it makes me want to study study tube and study gram have done that to me <laughs> we talked about um queer gothic and queer in the gothic so we read um other voices other rooms by truman capote and i don't i actually hadn't ever read any truman capote before like obviously i knew of him and he was on my radar you know, breakfast at tiffany's all of that stuff but i'd never read any before and I, I i enjoyed other voices other rooms much more than i thought i would it was very strange very very odd book but very good and really interesting to think about uh queerness as otherness which is obviously quite a, a prevailing image within gothic then we looked at a beloved by tony morrison um tony morrison being a sort of seminal black writer and beloved i didn't love it as a book it was fine like i read it um but i think i think the style of writing is just not for me but it was very good it's about sort of like a haunting um a ghost revenant that's that sort of thing then the last uh text that we did in the gothic and gender model was something called the guild of stories uh by Jewel Gomez and lesbian gothic and I did my presentation on Gilda Stories. Um, I really really enjoyed it. It's really good. It's a it's a vampire novel, but it's not like your typical vampire novel. Uh, Jewel Gomez wanted to kind of reconfigure the vampire, uh, like remythologize it um, from a sort of black lesbian standpoint. Um, and so it's really really good. She she wanted to kind of break away from the very white male place that the vampire had been at the time as uh, she wrote it in the early 90s 
1992, something like that. So yeah, um, 1991, looking at my notes, 1991. So yeah, I talked about that. Um, again, because I did my presentation, it's like an actual presentation. More than happy to deliver that in some way for YouTube. Um, yeah, and that was my uh, Gothic and Gender module. So that was an optional module. We got to choose between Gothic and Gender and children's gothic and children's literature um i was really tempted by the gothic and children's literature but like the, the the text that we were studying gothic and gender i was more drawn to and i love like theory like thinking about gender and sexuality in literature anyway so yeah then um oh um i don't have any of my grades back for my uh assignment or my presentation for gothic and gender um i have my grades back for my gothic studies assignments and i have one of my grades for monster theory so gothic studies was like the first core um module and we sort of it's an introduction and overview to the fields and the big names and the big critics and the big ideas so the first um thing we looked at in gothic studies was anne radcliffe's the italian and matthew lewis's the monk I think I've done a gothic literature video on the monk. Can't remember if I've uploaded it. If I have, there you go. Um, so yes, yeah, so we talked about that. Um, I did my first essay on Anne Radcliffe, but we'll get to that in a minute. We looked at The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne and like a selection of um, stories by Edgar Allan Poe. I I'm a massive Poe fan. I, I mean, that's it's just such maybe an over overdone thing, but I'm a huge I'm a huge uh, Poe fan. So yeah, we were looking at the American Gothic. Um, I love Nathaniel Hawthorne, um, but I've only ever read his like short stories. Um, I talked before about a few of them. Rappuccini's Daughter and Young Goodman Brown are two of my absolute favourites. I don't like short stories at all. Um, but I've never read The Scarlet Letter and I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. So there you go. Then we talked about Jane Eyre and the female gothic. And I love Jane Eyre like so much. So I was happy that week. I enjoyed that week. Um, didn't write on her because, you know, th there's a few texts that I'm thinking, you know, leaving open for future like dissertation y type things. I um, probably won't write about Jane Eyre for my dissertation. But there you go. Then we move from Jane Eyre and the female gothic into we did uh, Hoffman the Sandman. Um, really enjoyed that. Uh, Hoffman was great. Um, also, uh, the sort of theory that we we're looking at that week was the uncanny. So Sigmund Freud's uncanny. Me and my partner, because we did it in two did our presentation on that and um i'll talk grades in a minute but we did well we did well um yeah so there's that um i've no idea if like this is interesting um then after that um yeah charles chestnut's conjure stories stories from the color line um and that was really interesting so it's a collection of short stories written charles chestnut was a african-american of an author of African American descent. Um, I think his grandparents were freed slaves. Um, so his conjure tales are like, it's like a frame um, where he's kind of doing the anti plantation narrative. Uh, so we were thinking about um, slave narratives, I guess, in the Gothic. Um, really enjoyed them. I need to, I haven't finished reading all of them yet, but now that I don't have to do work and keep up to date with readings, I can read the stuff that I didn't get around to quite reading all of or, you know, get on top of my readings for next term. So yeah, um, but I really enjoyed Charles Chestnut. Um, it's quite difficult to, to kind of get straight into it, uh, but yeah, really good. And then finally, the final thing we uh, thought about and this, this wasn't my favourite thing at all, but we looked at The Lost Souls by Poppy Z. Bright and like post-millennial gothic. That's fine, post-millennial gothic is fine, but Lost Souls. It's become like a meme, like a running joke with people in my course. I hate Lost Souls. I 
like I'm so happy that I never have to read it again I do not understand the hype I thought it was trash so that was gothic studies um, and then yeah so the seminar that we did in the, the what's the seminar the module that we did in the second half of the semester was monster theory and culture and so uh we looked at frankenstein and the castle of otranto love those two boys love those boys so much um and we sort of thought about um cohen's uh seven monster theses um as a sort of like overview of that um and then the second uh seminar again loved this boy it was dracula um oh dracula is my boy is my babe um like that that novel is one of my favorites i mean frankenstein is too but dracula i think if i had to choose between the two i'd choose dracula i'm sorry mary shelley i do love you um but we looked at derrida's law of genre and i don't think any of us really understood what derrida was on about there um i wrote my essay on dracula so let me go through my notes then uh we looked at gothic bodies um and we looked at alien the film alien and the blob um the blob is hilarious everybody should read it um oh sorry everyone should watch the blob um it's really funny and the opening credits are just you just have a hoot watching the opening credits and the the the, the song is great um yeah so there's that um and we thought about like um technology and uh oh what's it called phenomenology i believe um was like the theory we're looking at that week then we looked at uh, robert aikman dark entries and hauntology did my presentation on robert aikman um and hauntology and kind of wove cohen's monster theses in there um i love absolutely loved robert aikman um it's why i kind of jumped to do my uh presentation on that week um and i, I surprised myself by how well i i understood hauntology as a concept because it's not the easiest concept to get your head around but yeah i loved robert aikman um just my kind of weird ghostly ish eerie fiction um and i'm very very much considering doing my dissertation on aikman and some other similar weird authors yeah so again did my essay on him so let me just go through the notes finally the seminar we had today um which was postponed because there were lots of strikes at my universities last week uh so it was postponed till today um and it was on uh joyce carol oates's zombie um and then zombies we read the zombie manifesto and we read seltzer's uh article on serial killers because zombie by joyce carol oates is a novel kind of based around the figure of jeffrey dahmer um so and uh he wants to have a make himself a zombie uh basically to be his little slave so yeah we talked about that and that was really interesting um but i joyce carol oates zombie is so well written and but i hate it because because it's so well written it's not a pleasant experience to read let's let's put it that way so yeah those were my three modules for this term um and yeah, i'll just show you my assignments so the first thing that i did was my presentation with uh christy who was my also my partner for my second presentation as well because we just worked together so yeah we talked about the uncanny and the abject um and and sort of how some of the main sort of ideas and agreements um and sort of places of convergence and places of divergence between the two um we got we got 76 for that 76 that yeah that's a distinction so um i i was very pleased very much pleased to get a 76 uh and then for my first essay my first assignment this was a weird assignment and i don't i still don't really understand but it was kind of like uh let me read you the title with reference to one of the authors of a primary text we have read in class show how the work of the author has been read differently by different readers and critics over the history of its reception this model is particularly interested in the critics associated with gothic studies particularly the major critical voices and trends in the field over the last 40 odd years and focus on readings that have emerged from critics associated with gothic studies you might find that several issues in gothic studies are relevant to some of the authors we have read 
offer your own reading of the text that responds to existing criticism. Yeah, that, that was our, like, topic question. Um, so I, I wrote about Anne Radcliffe and how, you know, she is read a lot of different ways. Um, and you know how she was really popular right at the beginning because obviously she's considered one of the first gothic writers um and then sort of her popularity waned a little bit and she was kind of like pushed aside and then now she's um really popular in gothic criticism again so yeah right about that i got 70 yeah so that's uh for that module so that was my gothic studies presentation and assignment the presentation is worth 20 percent of the overall grade and the assignment is worth 80 percent so altogether i got i believe it's 71.2 percent so i got a distinction for my gothic studies module buzzing like so so happy um then as i said before i did my gothic and gender presentation on the guild of stories and lesbian gothic um and i kind of like my argument was arguing that actually um, lesbianism sexuality and gender is not as important within the guild of stories as race is so that's what i talked about haven't got my grade back for that yet um and then this is my monster theories presentation um robert aikman dark entries um this one was different so the first presentation the uncanny object one we were literally presenting on a critical like idea um whereas this one we were presenting we could present on the text so what we did was we kind of read two of Aikman stories from a hauntological point of view if that makes sense um so I did my textual analysis on his uh, short story the waiting room and my argument was that it's not actually a ghost story so there you go and yeah we got the grade back for that today and we got 74 percent for that one so again that's a distinction so oh, i just need to get 69 in my essay uh and then i'll have a distinction overall for the grade my overall uh mark will be a 70 um and that would... <laughs> i don't think it's gonna happen but there you go uh moving on i've got my blog which you know the cool thing because it was a blog we could like put photos we had what well, we were encouraged to include photos in the entries so yeah um and i wrote um on women and motherhood within the blood of the vampire um yeah uh, and and spoiler um florence marriott didn't really like women i mean there's more to it than that but that's the tldr of that one and then the essay that i've just written and submitted like half past 11 last night um was this one which was on dracula weakening borders and fearfully designed monstrous beings in bram stoker's dracula um and i was basically arguing again sort of doing what i did for my presentation um so i was offering sort of i'm reading dracula from the point of view of monster studies and uh colin's monster theses um so yeah i will probably not get the marks for that or my gothic and gender module um until after christmas but that's yeah that's my uh overview of what i've done this term and i'm averaging at the moment i've, I've only got three grades back but i'm averaging 73.3 recurring um but yeah 73 percent, which is a distinction and on the one hand that means the pressure is on because i really want a distinction overall um so the pressure is on for me to maintain that level um and then but on the other hand like i'm so over the moon because this was such a huge risk for me to jump and move here and do this and spend all that money on this course um and it is early days but it seems to be paying off i don't know so yeah um next term i'm doing three modules again um and then sort of over the summer so well, the summer um will be my dissertation which i don't know what i'm doing it on yet but i've got some ideas um so yeah i'm doing three modules next term the first one is called modernity in the gothic and we are reading stuff like um lovecraft can't wait um henry james shirley jackson rl stevenson so you know all of those people and we've got uh, new directions in the gothic um which we haven't had our reading list for yet 
so I don't know what we're doing. Um, and then I'm doing the special gothic subject optional module, which is Victorian occulture. So we're reading stuff like Arthur Mackin and H.P. Blavatsky and just some really cool, really cool stuff. Um, and talking about like the Victorian occult and spiritualist revival. Um, yeah, so that's my first term. I, I'm not gonna say like it's all been great because I have really struggled a few times, um, but I I don't regret it at this point, <laughs> at this point in time. Um, I don't regret my decision. And I go home for Christmas next weekend uh, via Manchester. There will be a vlog of my Manchester trip as always. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I don't really know what else to say. And this is nearly half an hour long. So I'm gonna say goodbye here. And thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And yeah, I will see you on my new one.